Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be looking at more TikTokers faking disorders on TikTok for clout. The acting sped meta on TikTok has been around for a while now because everybody knows if you act like you were dropped from a 50-story building, you are 100% guaranteed some free TikTok clout. Even if you might actually not be special at all and might be a completely neurotypical individual, well, you know, people feel bad and, and, and they're sympathetic and they wanna leave a like on your TikTok, so you guys know the drill. We're gonna be looking at this fake disorder cringe, so leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and big thanks to Gamersubs for sponsoring during this video, Gamersubs has been a longtime supporter of the channel. It's basically just G Fuel, but actually good. I drink a cup of Gamersubs pretty much every time I'm about to record a video because it makes me far more productive, energized, and focused. And pretty much all of the flavors that Gamersubs offer are just delicious. So if you guys want to try some today, you can use my link down below or use code Cheeto for 10% off your order at Gamersubs.gg. Every purchase helps me out and the channel out, and you also get your hands on the best energy formula in the market. So yeah, thanks to Gamersubs, and let's get on with the video. Life and death and love. And birth. Cars with no muffler who accelerate past me, causing my PTSD symptoms to return. Yeah, and what makes this all the more believable is the fact that you have a toothy cheek-to-cheek -to -cheek smile on right now. Yeah, I don't think looking all happy-go-lucky is a symptom of actual PTSD trauma, my dude. As a matter of fact, I'd say it's the exact opposite. Like, I guarantee you, the people that served in the Vietnam War who can't hear the word Joey without spazzing on the floor because it reminds them of their lost friend who died from a grenade, they don't stop to record a TikTok in which they are, like, smiling for the camera when they're going through these PTSD attacks. Also, how would one get PTSD from a car muffler? Like, to me, it just seems like you were going on a walk, heard a loud car, and were like, wow, this is mildly annoying. Let me record a TikTok saying this is triggering PTSD. And peace in war on the planet Earth. Also, why are you flipping me off? What did I do? I'm not driving past you in a car with no muffler. I didn't do shit to you, dog. I've never interacted with you in my life, and you're giving me the finger, okay? Firstly, I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there that Marbles is not just a character for my haunt. She is my other personality that I created into a character for my haunt, and in order to bring her out, I need to front her. If you don't know what fronting is, please look up split personality or DID disorder, and you will understand. Didn't you just admit that you made this person up? My other personality that I created- Damn, bro, say less. What a self-report. Making my job even easier, bro. Appreciate it. Genuinely though, that is not how this works. You can't be like, okay, I'm gonna make a separate personality for myself that's gonna have everything that I decide it has. That doesn't just mean that you have multiple personality disorder. That literally means that you've given yourself an alter ego. By that logic, popular singer Joji has multiple personality disorder because he can play a character by the name of Pink Guy. And I will also warn you that she is very energetic, so I'm sorry. Okay, bro. Oh my god, dude. Like, <laughs> literally the mental conversation that you just had prior to that was, okay, in about five seconds, I'm gonna jump up and down and squeal. And then you went ahead and did it. Like, you realize that's not how multiple personality disorder work. You can't just time it, bruh. That's why the people that actually have this disorder usually don't show it on TikTok, because they don't know when it's gonna happen, so why would they be recording themselves? Also, they realize that they actually have a problem, and they don't want to glorify it to the audience. Whereas the people who are faking it for clout kind of know that mental illness that by itself has been pretty romanticized in the past decade, so they're willing to fake it for a bag. Yay! Hi! I'm Marbles. Um, do you want me to say hello first? And, and, um, I have a song for you. It goes... You know, the best part about this is you know for a fact that if her dad walked in the room, she would drop the act immediately. Dad walks in, sweetie, what was that noise? Oh, so sorry, father. I was just recording a bit of a TikTok. <laughs> All right, honey, just keep it down, please. Me and your mother are trying to watch a show. Don't be always on the bus. I'm gonna put you on to Donda by Kanye West just in hopes that that will help you find God. You need to be saved, my dude. Also, I just love how the black and white filter was slapped onto this TikTok in order to try to insinuate this, this is like some serious issue. You know you're spewing some crap, so you slapped on the black and white filter in order to make people think that you're being serious. Wow, I've never, um, caught this on video before. She really said caught on video as if she didn't elaborately set up the camera in order to start recording at a specific time. I think the word caught is used a little bit too charitably there. I think a better caption would be dissociation planned on video. Oh yeah, I, I, I have one with Larson listening to people debate my gender. <laughs> 
what sort of genre of content is this? Who is this designed to entertain? Like, I literally cannot even begin to try to describe what I just watched. There's no plot, there's no characters, there's nothing. It's just nonsense. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the entire point of the video. It's to just not make any sort of sense. Maybe it's like some sort of circus act where you're not even supposed to understand what's going on and that's the entire root of the entertainment value. Here goes nothing. My name is Ditsy Riddle. I am 24 years old. I have long green hair that's in pigtails and they have to be fluffy. I am based upon Harley Quinn and the Joker. I feel like you can kind of predict what sort of content is going to consist of fake disorder cringe just by, like, the type of people that are doing it. If you see somebody who looks like they came out of the Epic Games Fortnite skin design lab, you're probably onto something. Like, I mean, right here is just a prime example of what we're sort of working with. And it definitely follows the theme of attention-seeking. I mean, you know, you're posting a TikTok about a fake disorder for clout and attention, and another way to grab Normie's attention is by having bright colored hair, random scribbles all over your face, and just overall acting out of pocket. My sister has been sitting here faking Tourette's for the last 20 minutes. I fucking hate this house. So this one to me is a bit confusing because the sister isn't actually recording the TikTok, they're just sitting there faking Tourette's. And I guess the logic there would be that they're doing it for IRL attention and not just like internet attention. But even then, like this one is just genuinely sad to see. Because I genuinely do feel bad for people that feel so deprived of attention that they need to go to these crazy extremes in order to seek validation. You know, like there are kids that act out and misbehave at school because they don't get any attention at home. Obviously it doesn't mean the behavior is justified, but it's kind of like a reason for it. Obviously faking Tourette's is never okay and and it's cringe, but I definitely wish the circumstances that led to this behavior were amended and fixed. I'm gonna see if I can catch this tick because it's the most ridiculous thing ever. So this TikToker goes by the name Ticks and Roses, who has been exposed like five different times for faking disorders. There was actually a Reddit post that was circulating a while ago claiming to be this person's sister and explaining how as their sister, she can literally confirm that they are faking disorders and that this TikToker has cut off all contact with their family after their family begged them to stop faking disorders on TikTok. But regardless, even without that information, you can still very clearly know that they are faking disorders because who actually looks like so proud and and joyful after they tick. Like, she thinks it's cute and quirky to tick, and that it's, like, just some sort of personality traits. People with the actual Tourette's have commented on these TikToks saying, Yeah, after I tick, I'm not proud. I'm not giving myself a standing ovation and posting it on TikTok. I just kind of move on with my day and my life because, yeah, I have to live with this stuff, and it happens all the time. Also, it's a pretty common experience for people with Tourette's to not even really realize when they're ticking. Basically because it's become so ingrained in their life and their day-to-day, -day, you know, experiences that they don't really call it out or notice it. Especially, they wouldn't go as far as to record a TikTok about it. It. Now, with that all being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment down Toaster if you made it to the end of the video, and I'll try to hide your comment. Big thanks to all my channel members. As always, you guys rock. Follow my social medias. Links are all down below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.